Okay, welcome back to Boost and Scrape, everybody. I'm sorry if you hear dogs barking or a little bit of wind. We are outside, and it's, it's not too windy, but uh, it might pick it up a little bit. Um, but anyway, today uh, we're going to talk about, you know, uh, uh, my inactivity. You know, I apologize for all of that. Um, you know, just some things have happened, and uh, just haven't really had the urge to get into it. But now, um, as you can tell, the quality is probably much, much better. Um, that's thanks to the new camera that Aaron is holding. Uh, Aaron is one of my friends that uh, he's been a friend of mine for a long time and he just got this new sweet camera So that's kind of why we're doing this now. We got a new camera and everything um, And a lot of new things are going to be happening here very soon So it's very cool, which we're going to talk about more in a second. Uh, the first thing I'll talk about though is my Z um, I'm in the process of selling this car. We're trying to sell it anyway I'm basically selling it for what it is worth or not what it's worth, but uh, what I owe on it and um, That's pretty much it. I'm just trying to get rid of it once this is gone, um, I'm going to be getting an Evo X, which is really crazy because it's like my dream car and I'm only 21 years old, but it's going to happen, so that's very cool. Um, the title is on the way to the bank for this, and as soon as I get that title, first come, first serve on basically whoever wants it. So if you're interested and you're local, let me know. I can give you more information on it, whatever you want. It's a clean car. Um, but yeah, also the Miata. We'll move on to that next since it's right over here as well. I'm planning on drifting this thing. Uh, one of my friends, Tyler, who I'll talk more about later, uh, is actually going to be helping me weld the diff, and eventually I'm going to be turbocharging this 1.8 liter. Um, and I'm also going to be raising it up for more function over the form, and it's going to become my drift car. I haven't been driving it so much recently, and I've just been driving the Z, just because I'm trying to sell that, and also just kind of keep this thing solid. Um, this over here is Aaron, who's holding the camera. This is his 2008 WRX. We're going to talk more about that in a second. He's got a lot of information he wants to share with you. But now, let's go ahead and introduce Aaron. All right, so this is Aaron. Um, he was the one holding the camera a second ago, and this is his car. And he's going to basically give us a little rundown of everything he's got done to the car and just a little bit of history on it. Um, but he is going to be helping me out with the channel from now on a little bit. He obviously has the really nice camera and uh, he's going to help me with editing and making videos and things like that. So that way, you know, I'll be able to get more content out there and stuff like that so look forward to that his face is going to become familiar so get used to that hey what's going on guys i'm aaron and as johnny introduced me in my car this is my 2008 wrx wagon uh so far for this i've upgraded the spoiler it's still the oem spoiler yeah show me the exterior stuff so we got the spoiler in the back right spoiler in the back it didn't come, show that it did right. not come stock on it uh it came stock on the 2009s but the 08s were just pathetic looking so i had to do something right i wasn't trying to go a full chassis mount on a basically stock car. Of course. And up here on the headlights, uh, spec D tuning. Uh, you've probably seen them a lot on Hawkeyes. They look very nice, very good. Uh, I'm actually thinking of upgrading them soon to a kind instead of where it outlines the outside. It's about, it's like a parenthesis. Like a 15, 16 style kind exactly. of? Exactly. And right here is a <laughs> Amazon carbon fiber hood scoop that I got. Uh, it's very nice, we did an install video on that. Is it real carbon fiber? Yes. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. And uh, we also repainted my front grill as we did in a previous video. And also right here, I have quick release fasteners. They are a uh, JDM toy brand. Uh, I found them on a site that I normally get most of my parts from. Relatively cheap and easy, but painful to install because who wants to drill into their car? But are they functional? They are very functional. Why is that? Function over form? No, but why is it functional? Is it actually oh, holding well, your bumper on? Huh? Yeah, is it's it, holding my bumper on. It's holding his bumper on. All right, and let's get into the hood. All right, so a little quick rundown around the hood. I'll just skip all the basic stuff and just tell you what I've done to it. Uh, Cobb uh, Cob intake air box with the intake as well. Uh, pair and turbo inlet. The stock one was ripped when we changed turbos. Uh, Cobb bypass valve. We also did that in my stage one video. So you changed turbos? Changed turbos, yes. Uh, the stock turbo that came on this wasn't even on here when I bought it. The dealership put some cheap eBay turbo on it, but my mechanic said that the same price for a TDO4 is the same price as a VF52, which comes on the 2009 all the way to 14 Subarus, so a lot more PSI and boost coming from that. And connected to that is my Turbo XS downpipe. Uh, you might not be able to see the lighting is very bad, but connected to that is my NVIDIA turbo back exhaust. Or cat back, but with a downpipe mixed turbo back. Let's get a good little view of this turbo over here. So that's the VF52 there, right? And then obviously you can see the downpipe coming down back there. And also right cool. here is my 
white line strut bar. I also have in, uh, white line front and rear sway bars. Uh, very nice, but of course next will be coming coilovers and then tires and wheels. Coilovers, tires and wheel, wheels and tires. Very cool. Interior, I got a good bit of stuff. I have a few water bottles, or just one. Uh, right here, uh, I have blue lights. I did not put those on. It was like that when I bought it. I thought it was pretty cool. It goes well with the red when it lights up at night. But uh, my shift knob is we, the We Are Likewise. It is the black Neil Diamond. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Very pretty. And you can see right there next to my steering wheel is my access port. We'll go to the other side and see it. And on this side we have my Cobb access port, which is basically making this whole thing run. <laughs> so it's running a Cobb map, right? Uh, it's running a custom map. It's running stage two on top of boost adjustments because it thinks it has my uh, td 4 stock turbo. But you have a bigger turbo. But a bigger turbo, so. Very cool. Very cool, didn't want to run 20 PSI on a 2008 Subaru. So you have the turbo excess downpipe coming back to this NVIDIA exhaust, right? Yep, uh, racing series, it is a non-resonated exhaust with a titanium tip. I wish it was titanium all the way, but who knows? Still very pretty and subtle, I like it. Very pretty and subtle. So he's got a lot done to the car. We're gonna go and give you guys a little exhaust clip since he, uh, that's one of the biggest things that's been done recently. Well, I mean, obviously the turbo is good. And he's making about 16 PSI now. And uh, this thing is a little rowdy. And uh, I think he's planning on getting some unequal length headers, which will just make things even crazier. But uh, obviously it's got that awesome Subi rumble. And on the access port, he's got, uh, you know, launch control now. So we'll show that as well, because it's it sounds pretty wild with the bigger turbo and basically almost straight pipe from turbo back I mean it has a, a muffler at the back obviously and a high flow cat in the turbo excess downpipe but yeah if, as long as it's warmed up Aaron I'm ready when you are all right now show them launch control All right, so what's coming next? Uh, future plans, uh, next around Christmas time, once I get things sorted out with my car payments, uh, I'm gonna be getting some BC racing coilovers, which would be very nice. I'm not trying to slam my car like it's, you know, black friend here, black car friend. Um, uh, after that, definitely gonna go with some nice wheels. I'm not sure which brand I wanna settle on yet. I was thinking about, uh, BBS, but you know, there's a lot of options and a lot of things that look good on this car, so I want to make sure I get it right. Oh, yeah, come in time. Come in time. Uh, performance wise, definitely get this thing dynoed eventually. I have an idea it's running about, you know, 280, 290 to the engine, but you know, probably about 250 to the wheels. Right. Depending, you know, but. So, performance wise, do you have anything coming next? Coming next, uh, definitely think about upgrading the top mount intercooler or maybe changing to a front mount. Uh, I think top mount, just changing the top mount to a bigger one be an easier process because we're not having to you know move it from here down here yeah definitely, so, definitely. headers as well headers. Um, I believe I'm about to order some uh, unequal length Tomei headers which will cost more than my downpipe or exhaust but not together uh, worth worth it's definitely worth it for the sound peep the Tomei on the 350 all right guys so that was a rundown on my 2008 Subaru WRX and now is Johnny's gonna tell us a little bit of announcements coming for the Miata Okay, so like I said before, with the uh, diff getting welded by my friend Tyler, uh, he, you know, he's he's real big into mechanics and things like that. He has a 800 horsepower uh, Power Stroke Ford truck that's pretty sweet, and uh, he's actually picking up a Honda Civic. Or actually, no, he already has a Civic, um, and he's got some crazy plans with that. So we're going to be trying to film that process as well as filming the process of turning this into a drifter. And of course, like I said, you know, when the 350 is gone. I'm immediately getting an Evo. Um, I'm actually going tomorrow to pick one up, or not pick one up, sorry, but to go test drive one. No, don't get your hopes up. Um, I'm going to go test drive one tomorrow. Never drove one before, so I'm just trying to get a feel for one. Uh, I actually don't want this one just because of the color, um, but it's going to give me a good idea of you know how they drive and everything. Um, I got one question for you. Are you gonna lower? Are you gonna raise the car? Yeah. Okay. So obviously, you know, the diff's going to be welded. This is going to become a drift car. That's the plan. 
anyway. Um, I was trying to, you know, get something else as a drift car, but I figured I have this, this will work, I can use this, it's fine. Um, but I am going to be raising up definitely the back. I think I might leave the front because it's fine. I might just make it match perfect. Um, probably going to change the exhaust, and of course, down the road, I will be turboing the 1.8 liter. Um, but moving back to Tyler and his Civic, um, he uh, obviously got an EF hatch, and um, he's going to be doing a B swap, a B series swap. If you don't know anything about Honda motors, it's one of the better motors. Um, you know, K series and B series are the popular Honda swaps. Um, I think he said B18, I'm not too sure, I'll have to go back and check. Um, but also he's doing a big turbo, a um, custom built transmission with LSD, which is going to be pretty sweet. Um, and we're going to be, you know, helping out with that process along the way. And obviously, you know, he's got things coming to the WRX, and, you know, we still have Blake's Miata, Cody's Mustang. and uh, Why, it's Miata. Fusion. Yeah, and uh, so, you know, lots of great things to come, guys, so stay tuned for sure. All right, so, I mean, that's pretty much all we have to talk about today. Uh, I just want to really introduce Aaron, since he's going to be helping out with the channel a lot, um, and explain some of the, you know, the future projects that are coming. You know, uh, tell you guys about my new car that I'm going to be getting once this is gone. So that's very soon. Um, just a lot of great things to come. All right, just a lot of, a lot of great things to come, so stay tuned for sure. Um, and, yeah, just kind of glad to be back. A lot of... A lot of really cool things in the works right now, so I'm super stoked on all of that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and uh, make sure you guys you know, stay tuned for more great content. See you in the next one. Peace out, guys.